that's the MI5, MI6 cover story. Diana killed in drunk drive accident. Henri Paul reported for duty at 10 p.m. No one reported him drunk. On CCTV, his movements are normal. The autopsy after his death in the crash showed his liver was normal. <laughs> the police say the car left the Ritz at great speed. CCTV footage shows it left at normal speed. And a few days earlier, he passed a rigorous medical exam to renew his pilot's license because he had a passion to fly light aircraft. Yeah, but the police found high alcohol content in his blood. Yeah, but it wasn't his blood. His family claimed the samples were mixed up or even switched. The sample that was supposed to be Henri Paul's contained a large amount of carbon monoxide. It belonged to a suicide. He drunk a lot before he killed himself by car exhaust fumes. OK, so an MI5, MI6 field team get Diana out of her usual car and into a more vulnerable one with a less experienced driver. What then? And they assassinate her by staging the accident. And they do it like this. The road by the Seine goes into a tunnel. Henri Paul accelerates to get away from the paparazzi. They're following on motorbikes. Behind is a big white Mercedes. Now this is the control vehicle for the operation. Behind that is a small white Fiat Uno. The Fiat Uno overtakes first the control vehicle and then when Diana's car is deep inside the tunnel and most at risk, it pulls alongside. And it's driven by agents to distract Henri Paul at the crucial moment. The Fiat Uno pulls away and behind there comes a motorbike with a pillion rider. And this pillion rider is carrying a handheld strobe light. This strobe, smaller than a cigar, is tuned to a cycle of 12 hertz per second. And the strobe blinds on Paul. Just for a moment, and that's all it takes. The car crashes. I think this princess dies. At the 13th pillar. And Satan has his way. I'm believing it. God. OK. If we have to, that's the story we'll give to Angela. Story or truth? Protect the heart of the nation. That's what we're meant to do in this job. Instead, did we rip it out?